Hi everyone, Bandana here. I hope you're all doing well. Some unexpected and sudden news today, or sort of expected, but I'll get to that shortly. There is a new DLC coming for Wargame Red Dragon. We are getting a brand new nation pack for Italy. Bellissimo. Obviously, great news to be getting a new nation pack after a couple of years of it being pretty quiet for Wargame Red Dragon. Yes, it's an old game now, but it's still pretty popular. And obviously, people still really enjoy the game, so any new content is very welcome. Now, the reason I said at the start it wasn't totally unexpected was because many months ago, possibly even a year ago or more now, I spotted some very strange changes in the depot files over on the Steam DB because they'd updated the Wargame Strike Team stuff and other bits and pieces, and it just it was an odd update. It didn't quite fit with anything. And when I quizzed the devs about it, I didn't really get too many responses other than a few coy smiles, which told me possibly there was something, but obviously I'm under NDA with them, so at the time I couldn't really say anything about it. So I didn't know what was coming exactly, but I knew something was probably on the way. And here we are, Italy as a new nation pack. I know it's one of the requested ones, because I know there's Italy, Turkey, and a couple of others that have always been on the list, so to speak. And obviously, they've gone down the route of Italy. I expect they've probably been looking at Italy and its units for Warno as well, because obviously we'll have the South Ag DLC eventually for Warno, which you would expect Italy to be featuring in. So it's probably a mixture of when they've researched that, they've thought, well, we can add Italy to Wargame as well, which I think is a really good decision. So Eugen have stuck up a little dev blog, a sort of preview for the infantry of the Italy Nation pack. And they've got a little opening speed at the start, which I'll just read through about why they chose Italy and why now. So we love to spring a good surprise on our player base, they say, but you might be wondering why now. As you should all know, Italy has been requested a lot by the community to be included in Wargame Red Dragon for a long time. In our opinion, the Mediterranean nation was the last missing piece of our game. With enough domestic designs to justify its place in Wargame Red Dragon, it would have been a shame for Italy to remain excluded. So this might be the last one, because this is that time when they've actually said last missing piece. So maybe this will be the final DLC we'll ever get for Wargame Red Dragon. Never say never, of course. But that's why the Italian armed forces will finally, and gloriously so, if we might say, make their appearance in the upcoming Wargame Red Dragon Nation Pack Italy. So the next thing is what's in the box. Well, the Nation Pack Italy will feature Italy as a standalone nation for Wargame Red Dragon. They will bring their unique mix of domestic and foreign material to the battlefield, old and brand spanking new. Fully voiced and featuring 104 new Italian units, 19 brand new models and many existing models redone or upgraded and a score of new variants. Wargame Red Dragon Nation Pack Italy will boast one of the most visually up-to-date arsenals of our game. The capable Italian armed forces were the linchpin of any NATO-led Mediterranean operation. They enjoy a long and proud military lineage, from its elite Alpine troops to the fast-moving armoured units. So too the Italian automotive and armament industries, having produced iconic and noteworthy vehicles during the Cold War and beyond. Among others, these include the AR-76 Campagnola Army Jeep, the wheeled B-1 Centauro, and the C-1 Arietti main battle tank. Am I pronouncing that right? I feel like I'm not. Someone tell me in the comments. Um, and the hard-hitting A-129 Mangusta attack helicopter and the A-11 Ghibli ground attack aircraft. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to have to Google it. So next up is the Italian infantry detailed as a heading. So basically a little bit more information. So the infantry of the Italian armed forces remained equipped with small arms stemming from World War II or immediately post-war designs for the longest time. The main individual weapon for most soldiers was the BM-59 Battle Rifle, a locally produced M1 Grand modified with a detachable magazine and selective fire. Some units required lighter weapons such as weapon crews, scouts and commanders, even then retained the MAB 38-49 SMG, considered one of the best of its kind during the war, so basically they've got World War II gear. 
The MG42-59 was a preferred squad automatic weapon, which, as anyone can guess, is a locally produced World War II era, originally the German iconic MG42, rechambered to the NATO 7.62mm round. Squad anti-tank weapons are either the M20A1 Super Bazooka, another upgraded World War II weapon, or the Belgian RL100 Blindicide. In some cases, the M18 57mm recoilless rifle was also fielded. By the late 1980s, Italy had developed its own assault rifle, the AR-70-90. It also went looking for better anti-tank weapons, resulting in the a Pilas and even a few of the Panzer Force III's becoming available to its troops. Italian Alpine forces favoured the recoilless rifle, which resulted in a domestic design, the Fulgore 80mm, although a few Special Forces units received the Mini-Me as an off-the-shelves option. The previously mentioned MG42-59 kept on being Italy's main machine gun for the whole duration of the Cold War. These straight from World War II weapons were the mainstay of the Italian infantry's armament for most of the Cold War, only a select few units transitioned to more modern equipment in the late 1980s. This means within Wargame Red Dragon, only non-era restricted decks will have access to the most modern weapons. So what are the main types of Italian infantry then? Well, we will get the Fanteria di Lina, which will be your typical grunt, the bread and butter infantry. There will be the Lagunari or Maro, which are both considered naval infantry in game. In real life, the former can be equated to a more riverine or amphibious infantry. These are army units tasked with securing Venice's lagoons and riverways. The latter are true marines, being navy and sea orientated. Both will obviously provide Italy's marines decks infantry. The latter unit's name is a contraction of San Marco, their patron saint. Then there will be the Paracadotisti. That is a hard word to pronounce. Did I get it anywhere near anyone who speaks Italian? They are the airborne troops, heir to the World War II's famed Fulgore. And then there are the Alpini, which are Italy's light mountain troops. Although less famous abroad than the units mentioned above, these forces have always been considered the country's best. Okay, so that is the broad range. Now we get a bit more detail. So as you can see in the background, this is an image of all of their icons. So obviously there is a good variety of units there, or at least icon types. So what will be the exact infantry squads coming in the pack? So in the logistics tab, there will be the Gruppo di Controllio, an all-era command squad with the MAB 38-49 and the MG42-59. Then in the infantry tab, there will be the Reservisti, the militia 10-man draftees with a BM-59 and Super Bazooka, the Fanteria di Lina, regular 10-strong squad with a BM-59, MG-42-59 and the Super Bazooka, and then there will be the Fanteria di Lina 90, same organisation but with more modern AR-70-90 MG-42-59 and an a Pelas launcher. Then there will be the Guastatori, there will be a regular 10-strong infantry combat engineer squad with a BM-59 and a T-148 flamethrower. Lagunari, a regular 15-strong naval infantry squad with the BM-59, MG-42-59 and the Super Bazooka. Then there will be the CSR SA-57M18, a regular 5-strong fire support squad with the MAB-38-49 and the M18 recoilless rifle with both AP and HE rounds. Then there will be the Milan 1, a regular two-strong ATGM team with the MAB 38-49 and a Milan 1. And then there will be a Milan 2, the same organisation as above, but with the Milan 2 1985 only. Stinger. Regular two-man strong manpad team with MAB 38-49 and of course Stinger missiles, 1985 only. The Maro, 
shock 10-man naval infantry squad with the original trial AR-70, MG-4259 and an RL-100 blindicide. The Maro 90 will be the same organisation as previously, but with the AR-70-90, the MG-42-59 and an APLAS launcher. Then the one that I have trouble pronouncing, the, well, you know, the one I definitely know I'm having trouble pronouncing, the Paracadosti, a shock 10-man airborne squad with a BM-59 Ital TA, an MG-42-59 and a Super Bazooka, and the same again, but the year 1990 variant, which is the same organization as above, but with the SCP-70-90, the MG-4259, and an APLAS launcher. Then there will be the Alpini, which is a shock 15-man light infantry squad with a BM-59 Ital TA, MG-42-59, and the M-18 recoilless rifle, and the Alpini 90, which will be the same as above, but with the AR-70-90, the MG-42-59, and the Fulgor recoilless rifle. The CSR Fulgor is a shock 5-man fire support squad with the MAB 30-59 and the Fulgor recoilless rifle with both AP and HE rounds, 1986 only, I think they mean 1985 and above only. And then there's the Col Moshin, an elite 10-man commando squad with the AR-70-90, Mini-Me and the Panzer Force III, 1990 only. Then in the recon tab, you've got the Exploratory, which just feels weird to say, but that is a regular 5-man recon squad with the Mab 38-49 and a Super Bazooka. The Burz Aglary which is a shock 10-man recon squad with a BM-59 Ital TA, MG-42-59 and an M-72 Law. Then there is the Para Cecchini, which is a shock 2-man recon sniper team with the BM-59 Ital TA and a G-3A 3ZF. And finally, there are the Komsubin, an elite five-man special forces recon squad with a MAB 3849, a Mini-Me, and a Fulgore recoilless rifle, 1985 onwards only. And that's actually all they've included here. We're just getting the infantry, and they're going to, I guess, do more little news articles or dev blogs with the other parts of the new nation, which I'll pull a video up for here because I think this is fairly big news. But I shall leave this video there. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining me. I hope you all have a great weekend, and I'll see you all soon.